What's happening, guys? Greg Ehrenberg here from Stochastic.com, and we're about to break down all of the best plays for the FanDuel slate using the new tools we have at Stochastic.com. Built lineups in the contest generator, 10,000 of them, uploaded them to the Sims tool. They played against each other 40,000 times, and these are the results of those lineups. I'm going to go over some of my top projected lineups, players I have the most exposure to, players I'm a little bit underweight to the field to as well. If you can do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you like what you're seeing on screen here, we have everything included with our NFL data package. So stuff from these tools to our player projections, ownership projections, and then stuff like the top stacks tool, which is going to tell you which teams have the best odds being the top scoring stacks for the slate. If you want to get access also to stuff like our top showdown plays tool, which is which individual players are most likely to be in optimal showdown lineups, that is all included with our NFL data package. And you can get that now for 15% off when you sign up using the link that we have below. Now let's look at the results of the FanDuel slate that I simmed out here. I also did a DraftKings video on this. It's also available on the YouTube channel. So you guys want to watch one of these or watch both. I prefer you watch both, but they're both up there. Let's favorite the top 150 lineups. And I made a mix. I made some unstacked QB lineups. There's some with a QB and one pass catcher, QB with two pass catchers, QB with three pass catchers. And let's see which of those end up being optimal most often on FanDuel. So scrolling through my top 150 lineups, it is all stacked QBs, not seeing any unstacked QBs in my top lineups. In addition to that, most of these lineups, not all of them, but most of them do have multiple pass catchers paired with the QBs. In terms of my top projected lineups, let's see what the worst ROI lineups did. Worst ROI lineups are generally unstacked lineups. So the lineups that had less correlation were less likely to win in a large field tournament. I also tried to mirror the prize payout for the biggest contest on FanDuel that pays out a million dollars to first place, which is a uh, 25% to first payout. So that is the payout structure that these lineups are going to mirror in terms of projecting out the simulated ROI. Now, if you look at my overall top projected lineup here, it is a Joe Burrow stack with Irv Smith Jr. and Jamar Chase. Then also filling out the lineup was Kenneth Walker and Cam Akers as the running backs. Tyree Kill and Michael Pittman at wide receiver. We have Javante Williams in the flex spot. And then the Buccaneers defense was the defense in this top projected lineup. Also, if you look at my top one, two, three, four best overall projected ROI lineups, it is a QB plus two. So QB with two of their pass catchers in here. So that is something of note. Now let's go and look at some of the individual player exposures. So for FanDuel purposes, the overall player that I got the most exposure to is actually Cam Akers. So I uh, can't say I feel the most comfortable about that, but this is what the data is saying here. Cam Akers got to him in more than half of my lineups. Most rostered player. He's only projected for 11% ownership over on FanDuel. We have projected for 13.5 fantasy points. And listen, when it comes to the Rams this weekend, who are they going to give the ball to? There's no Cooper Cup. The rest of the offense is really thin. If they're going to have Cam Akers be a workhorse this year, I mean, it... it He's not going to be the most efficient running back in the world because of how poor the offense is, but he stands to reason to get a lot of touches, a lot of a lot of carries, and also he should be involved in the passing game as well to open up the season. Other players I'm getting a good amount of exposure to here, Dalton Schultz, my most rostered tight end. Defense I'm getting the most of here is the Buccaneers. Wide receiver I have the most exposure to is Keenan Allen. And then the payup options that I have the most exposure to are Derrick Henry and Tyree Kill. Quarterbacks I have the most of are Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. Not massively surprising to me because a lot of this data also is mirrored in our other tools like the top stacks tool. Where we do have the team with the overall best odds being the top scoring stack on the slate is the Cincinnati Bengals. And second is the Los Angeles Chargers followed by the Miami Dolphins. So uh, we are getting the most exposure to the two quarterbacks that have the two best odds of being in the top scoring stack. Players I'm underweight to here. Players I'm shorting the field on, Raheem Mostert, who's projected for double-digit exposure. So, going to be getting exposure to Miami, but looks primarily through the pass game, where I had Tyree Kill as one of the most rostered wide receivers. Not as much in the run game here with Raheem Mostert showing up in just 0.7% of my top 150 lineups, who's projected for double-digit exposure. Also coming in underway to the field on Joe Mixon, Nick Chubb, Ramondre Stevenson. Justin Jefferson. Now, with that said, I do have 7% of Jefferson. It's not like some of these other players who I'm hardly getting to. It's just that Jefferson's projected for 17% ownership on FanDuel. So I'm underweight to that number. Also underweight to Devontae Adams and Austin Eckler. So kind of seeing that on both sides of this. 
The Chargers Dolphins is a great game to target, but not getting to the run games as much, really, really getting to a lot of the passing games. Stacks that I have the most exposure to here. If we're looking at QB with one pass catcher, I'm getting the most of Justin Herbert, followed by Geno Smith. Two QB uh, quarterback with two pass catchers, so double stacks here. You're getting the most of Joe Burrow, followed by Kirk Cousins, and then Justin Herbert. Not getting to as much of the triple stacks, but the ones I am getting to of the most, it's uh, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, followed by Geno Smith. So if you guys like this tool, if you like these tools, all this data, subscribe below. We've got everything included in our NFL data package. When you sign up using that link, you're going to get 15% off when you sign up for the first time. If you could also do me a favor before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck in week one of the NFL season, guys. And uh, I'll be doing these videos regularly. Did them for Showdown on Thursday. I'm also going to be doing for Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football, Main Slates. So check all these out if you found them useful. Thank you guys very much for watching. See you back here soon.